What's up boys and girls, people of all ages, just woke up, I'm getting changed, um, fasted morning cardio as always, half an hour, uh, and then I'm going to take you on a food shop guys, I'm just gonna, it's only uh, like a kind of top up thing, but I'm going to take you through uh, kind of the general foods that I normally get, most days, most days, most weeks, so go to the supermarket, I'll show you guys what's up. Hopefully you get a few ideas of about how I eat every day, but it's pretty boring, so don't get your hopes up. What's up guys? Fasted cardio is done. The best part of my day, every day, is when that cardio clock hits 30 minutes and I can get off. Uh, just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I choose to do my cardio fasted. Uh, it's more of a mental thing than anything. I don't actually think there's any kind of real science behind getting up, training fasted, rather than uh, getting up, having a breakfast and then training because essentially you burn the same amount of calories and you still eat the same amount of calories during the day. Uh, but for me it's just a mental game. Like I said, uh, this dieting game, like essentially when you get this close to competition it is just a mental game. Um, so I just start my days off well, I get up, I go through my cardio, I get my heart rate up, you know, I get everything moving in my body. And for me, you know, it releases those, those post-workout endorphins from the first thing in the morning. Starts my day right, and I start as I mean to go on. Uh, I'm going to start jabbering on because I'm fucking hungry! To the shops and get some food! Guys, never go shopping when you're hungry because you're going to end up like my basket's going to end up and fall to the brim even though I can't eat any of it. Probably end up buying post competition treats right now because I'm so excited. Let's get it. Squeezes. That's all my fruit, veg, mushrooms, onions, free asparagus, chilies, avocado, courgettes, cucumber, spring onions. I love my veg because it's very low in calories, high in fibre, good for nutrition. On to the meat. Right guys, so this is everything that I bought. Got the veg, got the carbs, got some dairy free products uh, and protein. So I'll just go through these like real quickly as to what I normally buy. Um, I buy this probably once a week, maybe a bit more. 
uh, with a few different variations in there as well. So I'll start off with the veg. First things first, asparagus. I love this shit and I've only recently got into this probably the last month, six weeks. What I do is every single time I put it in my stir fries, I chop them into thirds and I just put them straight in. I fry them up and they become beautiful. Uh, spring onions, just some extra, extra, just extra. Courgettes, as always, mushrooms, chilies. I love spice. I love, love, love spice. I put, I, honestly, I put like three of these chilies in most things. Probably have nine chilies a day. Probably shouldn't do. Um, organic onions. Avocados for my fats, uh, and just some sweet, uh, sweet, sweet. I keep saying sweet, but they just say sweet on the packet. Sweet vine ripened tomato, just because I just throw these in for a change every now and again, uh, and also sweet potato. So mostly with this veg, I keep the same. Sometimes I'll put in broccoli. Sometimes I'll put in you know some different kind of mushrooms, anything like that. But really, for for vegetables, just buy what you like. Uh, this is just what I like and I love a load of veg at the moment because my calories are low so I love to just fill myself up on veg. Let's move on to carbs. Bananas first and foremost. I fucking love bananas. Um, I have a banana every single day. Sometimes I have two. Normally post-workout because they are, they are sugary so it means they'll be absorbed faster into the body. Uh, so when you finish your workout, your body's screaming for nutrients, the best thing you can have, some simple sugars and a simple form of protein. So normally what most people do is a banana and a, and, a, and a whey protein shake. That's perfect in my ideal world, but right now my calories are too low, so I don't even have shakes at the moment. Uh, I have lightly salted Kalo rice cakes. The reason why I go for these ones specifically and not like snacker jacks or anything is because they're just lower in calorie again, and it means I can eat more of it. Because right now, like I, I, I can't really deal with the low calories that, that well, to be honest. So. Normally with this, I'll have two or three of these a day, and I'll put uh, 20 to 30 grams of almond butter. Oh fuck, I forgot almond butter. Oh fuck, I forgot oats. Anyway, <laughs> so normally I'll put 20 to 30 grams of almond butter, but obviously I don't have any, so I'll be having peanut butter instead. Uh, the only difference between almond butter and peanut butter is that there is a slightly more carbs in peanut butter. Uh, also, with my oats, gluten-free oats, gluten, 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 gluten-free oats, everything is gluten-free for me now, and Everything is lactose free for me now, so I bought this almond milk which I use all with my oats and anything else that I normally use milk with. I have these, I just actually just got, this is the second time I bought these, 107 calorie wraps guys. These are Weight Watchers ones. So I do, do I actually do do If It Fits Your Macros, uh, but just keeping it as healthy as possible obviously. So this just allows me to have more than one wrap guys. Normally if you get the big normal ones, I can only have one wrap and it's just depressing to be honest. So this gives me the ability to have two wraps. Just fantastic because psychological games. The naughty one, I've got some tiger rolls because I have not had burgers, homemade burgers, in so, so long and I am dying for them and I can't wait to eat it. I only have one of these rolls per meal, guys, so again, it is pretty, um, it's controlled if it fits your macros, you know. I don't take it overboard with any just one certain carb, I don't stick to one certain thing that I do every single, except for asparagus, I do that every day. 15% fat mints guys. I always get 15% fat mints because my fat is very high. I like to keep my fat high so my carbs don't go too high and my protein doesn't need to go too high. If you overload your body with carbs you become insulin sensitive, uh, insensitive I should say and uh, you won't react that well to carbs. So when I have my cheat days now because my carbs are so low and I put my carbs up I fucking I blow up and I get a massive massive pump which is fantastic. Uh, as well as this, you don't want your protein too high because at the end of the day, if you're going to be bodybuilding for the rest of your life, your ins your insulin, your liver, your kidneys has to deal with that that protein every single day. So I like to keep my protein slightly lower than most people. I go for about 0.75 grams per pound of body weight. That's just me. It works for me. I feel I feel like I've held a lot of size this this cut round as well, and I've only just changed to this low protein method or lower protein, it's not low protein, I still have you know 170 grams of protein a day but most people say a pound of body weight, a uh, pound per body weight so I should be up towards you know 180, 190 per, gram, per day but I just don't do that. Uh, eggs, always eggs, always get large eggs, always have three eggs in the morning because I love eggs, I always get different kind of eggs just to experiment different eggs because I love eggs. Um, I will slowly take myself off eggs because I've had three eggs every single day probably for the last two years so you can develop intolerances if you overdo things. 
such as soy sauce. I've been using a lot of soy sauce in this prep and now, honestly, my stomach gets really upset when I have it. So I've had to take it out and that's where this baby comes in, Cholula. I'm going to swap out all my soy sauce, so like stir fry. I'm just going to put Cholula on. I'm going to keep it nice and nice and clean because soy sauce hasn't been working for me. Always get this, turtle yogurt. Uh, I decided to go for the higher fat one today because the other one's a bit sour for me. Uh, the low fat one's a bit sour. Uh, for this, I just use this. Like I'll put in, like I don't know, a, a bit of this bottle or maybe you know a bit of Nando sauce. But I always weigh the Nando sauce. Twenty to thirty grams is more than enough for two hundred grams of chicken. And I mix it in with fifty grams of this, which is probably like fifty calories, nothing much at all. You mix it in, it gives like a paste. Oh, tikka. Tikka and tandoori. If you mix tikka and tandoori with this shit, it's fucking amazing. Trust me, it is amazing. Uh, so it makes like a paste, and you just put it straight in the oven 20, 25 minutes, and that will just, you know, that, that, that'll cling that flavor to the chicken rather than just make it burn off. That is the entirety of my shop this week. Sometimes I put salmon in. Sometimes I will, let me look around, what else do I do normally different? Uh, maybe a few different vegetables. But nah, literally other than, other, other than maybe like a few different meats, maybe duck, maybe turkey, maybe um, salmon or another white fish, not another white fish, a white fish. Uh, that is pretty much my shopping for the week guys. So I hope this kind of informed you a little bit as to how I eat and it might give you some ideas of how you guys can uh, you know, go shopping and, and eat a bit more. But I always, always get my chicken off muscle food or off muscle meat and I'm actually going to stop doing that because my gym has has started um, selling that chicken for five five kilos for, uh, five kilos for 25 pound so that's perfect for me I'm going to do that from now on rice I always buy in bulk so I've always got a big bag of rice up there oats I generally buy in bulk but I forgot today as you know um, I think that's it I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a little shopping video. I will do more and I will show you some cooking videos soon. Don't forget to rate, comment, like and subscribe that shit. Ooh, whoop.